pleasure. Condoms? And then you open the box, and it's just empty. You know what I'm saying? Well, goddamn, welcome back to the Raw Room, man. We in here again, another one for y'all. Oh, man. Yes, sir. I'll say this, D-Bates, your last Raw Room you had me on, I was pretty goddamn fucked up. Yeah. I was pretty. Somebody bro. was pouring us up over here. Yep, we're not going to point fingers, but we're going to blame her. Sam, Samantha Lopez. We're not going to point <laughs> we're fingers, but we're... Finger. We don't point fingers at people. But we say their name and we call them out when they get us drunk, and that's what she did. Oh, my God, bro. I was... She did that. Messed up last night. Yeah, she did that. She did that, but we appreciate that. We do. But you know, you're the first person who ever got me uh, drunk. You know? Where? Me and Tommy Stewart were at Austin Dixon's house at a party. Oh. I, I wasn't a drinker. I wasn't a drinker, bro. I don't know if you get that. I, I, I got some stories for you. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I told you I was ready. Yo, the first time I ever got drunk, this fucking guy, we go to another friend of ours from high school, Austin Dixon's house, with my boy Tommy Stewart, freshman year of college. We were all summer. Yeah, was, and we I all just the party. Yep. After our first year, I had never been drunk, ever. Bro, Dang, I you, know that. you were a monster ass hole piece of shit because yes, you were giving us. No, you don't know until somebody tells you that you can't mix white and brown. He's going shot for shot. Like, yo, do this to run. Oh, come on, do this. Do this. Hey, do for another one. And this one I knew was bad because you weren't taking him anymore. There was a certain point where you were like, bro, I'm good. Well, you know, you're like, hey, come on, do it with And you were like, no, I'm, I've already, I know my limits. <laughs> <laughs> but, bro, that was the first time I ever threw up from drinking and passed out. Like, woke up the yeah. next morning in the car. In the car, you and T Stu. In, in the car, bro. House. This nigga, I, I wake up, my face, I have a little blood on my face. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> Tommy's got no shirt on and just throw up in the bag, throw up in the bag like this. And you and Dixon were like, "Hey, bro, we all every, we all leaving, bro. Dixon's parents come home. You guys gotta go." And we were, I remember like, "Bro, like, I can't." He was like, "Bro, you gotta at least pull down the street or something. You you physically can't be here." And yeah, that was my first time ever getting fucked up. Bro. Hey, you know that nigga like somebody. I don't know if it was you. Somebody like broke that nigga mama chair. That nigga was so scared, yeah, bro. Definitely me. That man was so scared, but like, he was like, but he just knew his mom was going to kill him that day. That shit was funny as hell, bro. Now, bro, you know we were playing a game. You know we were playing a game against Haitian poker. That's why we were doing that's it. That's what we were doing. We were Haitian playing Haitian poker. Poker. Bro, that's that's something I learned from Mike Blanc. Shout out my boy Mike Blanc. Yeah, and then that's, I was the same how do you way. Play, do you remember how to play it again? I do not. Because I'm like, I'm trying to remember. I don't remember how to play it. I remember that's what we were playing. Cause and it was some college. The same that shit. thing happened to me. Did you? The same thing happened to me. When was your first time? Were that like that ever that kind of my, drunk? It fresh. Oh, my first time like that. Yeah, like that. We're like that. That. We're like. Now, I oh. told it to the roommates before. Uh, Arkansas State. One of my visits to Arkansas State. Never drank before. None of that shit. Uh, we go first of all. Okay, Arkansas State or Jonesboro. That shit a dry county. So you know, ain't no alcohol. You got to drive. Far as fuck to go get alcohol. Yeah. So the nigga that was uh, uh, you know, showing us around and shit, he drove all the way somewhere else to get the alcohol. We drove all the way back. And I'm there thinking like, boy, this shit ain't worth all that. I don't think I remember, bro. I remember going to a party, drinking some more. I'm on a, at the edge of a couch party lit. Bro. You remember what you was drinking people. on? You remember what it was? No. It was some cheap as shit. I know Ooh, that. plastic bottle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's some cheap as shit. And I just remember being like in the corner and I started like twerking. Like for real, for real twerking. Like not on nobody, but I just like started twerking in the corner. And then Nick Nails, who shot my ball head, that nigga had to come over here and be like, hey, bro, chill out, bro. Like I was gone, bro. And yeah, that nigga had to bring, like walk me into the uh, hotel, cause you know, it's on a revisit. So he walked me into the hotel. And just, just let me put the bucket by me, put me on the bed, and this nigga left and went back out. Yeah, the night wasn't even over. <laughs> yo, they, they that put, had just started. They sidelined you. They oh, were yeah, like, yo, yeah, they put, this get, get him go. on the cart, get him off the field. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Say, Ten, we're going to move the ball 10 yards forward, and we're going to keep yeah, practice going. Yeah, we're going to play out. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what well, people don't know? Hey, in football, especially in college, bro, a motherfucker get hurt, hey, just move the ball up. That's all it is. That's you know, so vicious, man. Your injury does not stop this day. Motherfucker just lost his dream for a second. Hey. And we were like, hey, guys, let's, let's take the ball. Scoot up. <laughs> I'm all, scoot up. Everybody, you coach get mad if you don't hurry the fuck up after they get hurt. And you don't, uh, come on. 
Like, Yo, damn, well, coach, nigga just told us yeah. ACPC MCL. Or, or when you have a game and you got momentum and somebody's hurt and you're like, ah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, the best be, it be fun as hell, like, when a nigga get hurt. A nigga be really hurt, but like let's say your offense, your team on like got some type of momentum, some type of either way, but over side of the ball, but somebody get hurt and the motherfucker get hurt and you be like, oh fuck, like you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, I don't want to see him hurt. Uh, no, nah, I hope he okay. But then nigga get up and run off, that shit make me mad. I want to fight a nigga. <laughs> Yo, have you have you ever done that? Never. So it's is is it is it, is it is it it to put it in basketball terms, would it be the same as flopping? This nigga's a flopper. Mm. Nah, cause nigga be flopping in football too. Niggas be flopping. Yo, niggas be flopping. I, flopping saw, I be flopping football. sometimes, niggas, nigga. Hey, I seen yo this. Yeah. <laughs> yo, some dude barely yeah, put you defense. You, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing all that. I'm so far. I used to say, my Rams days, nigga, I used to fly. Nigga, I used to live just, uh, like I was, uh, 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 what's buddy off of uh, Fresh Prince? I was, uh, J- Jazzy J- Jeff. Yeah, Jazzy Jeff. Nigga, I was, ah, like the fucking field threw me out the, out the door. Yeah. It's like, damn, bro, I was trying to dap you up after the play, my nigga. Nope, I'm, I want this 10 yards, 15 yards. Give me the 10. Give me this, yep. Yeah, Damn, that's a great fucking point. I didn't think about that. Yeah, that that would be more annoying. That's definitely annoying. A guy, a guy doing that. A guy stopping a drive and then he jogs off the field. You like you, you like, and then next you know you don't even score or you don't your defense like you give up a touchdown or something. You like but this bitch. <sighs> this bitch just changed the whole game. He changed the whole game because he's for to breathe for a second. Because he was tired. Because he was tired. Condition more, man. <laughs> the fuck going on out right here? Golly. It's crazy, man. Yeah, that is funny, man. Uh, the the drinking when you're young like that. Finally, because it's so funny, because now I can drink. Like, even last night, we, I, was, I was fucked up. I was fucked up. Guys, <laughs> I was fucked up. But it wasn't, I, I'll never get to that point again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, have yeah. you ever been to that point again? Oh, Where, like, no. pass, passed out, I need a bucket. Oh, no. Uh, one time, all of them freshman year. Me and Nico was though. Oh, so it was that time though. The the time we was uh yeah we uh when we got introduced to the drinking game that Haitian poker that was that that was that night that same happened to me, that happened to me the first time I played the game that night. Me and Nico, dude, Bruh, we throwing up outside doors like it wasn't no more even more because other people throwing up in other places. Yeah, so we were like oh this back oh, oh shit front door. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, it wasn't no Grubhub or Uber East because we would not have got our delivery that day. I'm talking about literally throwing it right outside the front door, right outside the back door. Like everybody was gone other than two people. Damn, and you're talking about that real throw up too where it's like you throwing up and then it's like this for 20 minutes after. Yeah, yeah. You just feel like, bro, it's still coming, bro. Like, <laughs> damn, you know, it's one of them, bro. It's, that shit is not fun, bro. Like, that shit is not fun. Have you ever had to take care of your girl? Throwing up like that. No. That shit. That shit. I ain't never had to do that. Bro, one. we'll scare the fuck out of you. I bet. This fucking, yo, we're fucking, we, we, we're chilling with a family. Bro, don't drink with your parents, bro. That's the lesson I learned. Oh, yeah. Bro, parents get, bro, your, your parents, bro, yeah, can drink, you fool. To, yeah. drink your, because you're thinking like, oh, I drink. I've been drinking for, too, like, you know, I've been drinking These now, got fool. old souls These and shit. Got, it's like got, old man strength. Like old man strength, but they can. Old people. It's old kidneys. man liver, bro. Old man Livers kidneys, bro. Old man liver oh, kidney, bro. Goodness, bro, he's just, bro, this motherfucker's been drinking since since 1970 something. Damn. You know what I'm saying? This motherfucker's been drinking at least beer and like beer when they, and like, like Coke when they put just Coke just in it. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> this motherfucker's fuck is got that? different organs. You know, they used to put cocaine in Coke. <laughs> oh, you thought you said in beer. I'm saying, what? That sounds disgusting. No, but I'm, you know what? I don't, I don't put it past them. I don't, I don't put it past any of our pop bro. Uh, that era of dudes when they was doing cocaine Niggas before made games. Root beer. Niggas did make root beer. So they had to get that shit from something. Cause it wasn't just it wasn't just a candy ass soda drink. At, so always. Just, oh, let's just call it root beer. Cause they had to get it from the root of the beer. Right, okay, now we preaching. I didn't know we were no, preaching. I didn't know you were gonna talk today. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just saying you had to, they had to take the root out of the beer at least. Well, I guess the root of the beer is uh, what's the shit they use? Make beer? They use a uh, yeast. Yeast, yeah. So I guess that is how they do it. Yeast beer, bro. Yeah, that's what I learned, bro. Hanging out with her folks and my folks is like, oh, bro, don't you don't try, don't try, don't even try, because it's like that. You know what else? This is how you know a motherfucker drink, bro. When they not. 
they not ch- they not even trying to go tit for tat with you. They're, they're like, just drinking. They just drinking. Like, I'm just casually drinking. You because you keeping you like oh we getting another drink. You just like oh we pouring up. You like oh yeah yeah. And you you don't realize that they're just no they're just no dude. I'm I'm. I'm chilling. Chilling, yeah. You are making this a game. You're making this a this, problem. This is what I do. Yeah, it's gonna, it ain't going to be a problem for me later. <laughs> That's what I learned, bro. I was like, oh, my God, bro. Yeah, women throwing up is scary. That you just sounds scary, bro. Yeah, bro. Because women throwing up is scary. Until you see a woman give birth. I can't believe you've seen it twice. Nigga, the second time, oh, I was like, man, let me pop my phone up. Let me go down. But they tried to tell me no phone. Bitch, watch that. I'm going to record this shit. So I popped the phone up like it got a great angle. Like, I'm talking great angle. Got the whole delivery. I mean, I've been coaching everybody. Hey, all right, let's go. You, come on, let's go. She coming. Let's go. She crying. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Like I'm looking at the camera. Like, yep, you good, baby? All right, baby. Oh Easy. my. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You yeah. say, yo. Wait, did you cut? Did you cut the cord? Yeah, yeah. You cut the. I knew you would cut the right. cord. Nigga, the first one, nigga, Camille. I almost had to catch her, like deliver her, because for whatever reason, like when it. Like when uh when the doctors figured out, you know, saying that she was ready to deliver or whatever. They came in but then they left out. So it was just me and her in that bitch and she got her legs up, like ready, like they were finna call, start the process, like, all right, push, breathe, all that shit. It was it already happening. They were out there going through the game plan and it's they, like, yo, we're playing yeah, over, they over Yeah, they over having the last meeting and shit. Like the game kickoff already started. <laughs> yo, the kickoff the ball is in the air, dog. Like, I'm talking about I see my nigga head come. I'm like, hey, 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 come on. Like you said, my lady, like I was, I kind of, I was down to cuss the ass. I was like, bring the fuck up, come the fuck on. Cause like I see her head, I'm like, I don't want, I ain't got no gloves. Like, yeah, he's I like, like well, I, I don't know, I don't know, do I catch I mean, this? I'm ready. <laughs> you you did your hands like you. this, d <laughs> Like, hey, I don't know, this is how the. I, this is what I, I know. A special team, I'm gonna take it like a like a, a, a holder. You know, they, you know, you got, they come in, you got the baby like laces this. in front, laces in front. <laughs> <laughs> Just making sure, you know. Damn, but so, yeah, so yeah. you had to yell at them. They rush in and they, and they deliver. They deliver, yeah. Did, then the second time was, that was a breeze. Any, for me. <laughs> you say any, any, the first time, any like, because you hear people tell stories about that shit, like pass out nerves, the blood, none of that. I ain't get none of that shit. I was just like, oh, oh, shit. That's what that is? Why I got that on it? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's Why how I was. got that on it? Yeah, that's how I kind of was. And then by the second one, I was just like, all right, bro, come on. All right, you good? You got all your fingers, toes, legs. All right, you straight? All right, easy. Let's go. Damn, that's the first thing, I guess. Yeah, your fingers, toes, legs. Everything looks straight, yeah. And, oh, and I go and follow them around. Like, when the doctor be trying to take them over to the table, get all the shit off of them. Uh, you know, some people give them shots and all that shit. Yeah, I'm following doctors around. You ain't fuck with my babies. And I don't want no switch out. I don't want no switch out, but you ain't finna give me no some random ass baby in there. And I'm like, this. I guess this looks like my baby. And you ain't finna have all that going on. Hell no. Nah. Might get home. My baby is Asian. <laughs> it's like week two, and you like, man, with this. Now nah, I gotta fight my wife. Cause you like, who the fuck you been? <laughs> you feel me? Who's this Jackie Chan nigga you been with? You feel me? Nah, I gotta get upset. You know. So I and it's just, the doctor. And the, you know, <laughs> it's the doctor fault. Damn, I never thought, bro. That's so crazy. So, I didn't even think about. Yo, I would be paranoid. The idea of like, oh, but let me. I don't know what this motherfucker gonna do with my motherfucking kid, bro. Also, he's the. This is the first person my, that got my kid. Is this? I don't even know ever. this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah. You know. Damn. Did you? Uh, did they? Is it real? Do they make them cry when they come out? Like, do they make them cry or? No, nah, it's not real. I think they just start crying. They start crying. I mean, I don't like. I guess it's I'm like if they sure, don't start if you crying. Slap my fucking kid. I probably be like, Matt, what the fuck, like. We not finna. Uh, you, you just say go, Darren, so I can go. <laughs> I, that's, I'd be looking at her, just letting, waiting on her to tell me yes. Yeah, and I would have been beating ass. Nah, I, don't, I they didn't do it to our children. I mean, baby, the babies did they come out crying? No, nah. the girls come out crying. No, nah, they didn't come out crying. They just like started probably like, you know, like most women they don't initially cry. They, they cry after you tell them something. <laughs> So your daughter came out and you were like, no. And she was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. The nigga, the man didn't cry for literally for a whole year until I first time I told him no, both of them, they, no, that's for a time to cry. <laughs> they had to wait for a no. And they, 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 you you got to get used to this. Yeah, you got to get used to that word, baby. But they don't, still don't get used to the word, that word. They act like they don't know what it is. I know I was watching you, dad, the other day and it was fucking great to see, man. <laughs> 
it was great to just see you have to like just because I, I know who you are and I know you don't take no shit from nobody. And then to see these two little people give you all the shit <laughs> oh, all in the universe. universe. And you're just like, oh, I got it. Okay. All right. Yep, daddy. Up, oh, daddy's a teapot. <laughs> daddy, you're doing it wrong. I'm, I'm, how do I do it right? Like, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but then it go out on Sunday and beat that and it goes your Sunday. best player ass, bitch. I don't give a fuck what you thought. Yeah. And, then, and then invite that nigga on the podcast after. Be like, hey, what's and, up, bro? And, hey, good game. Hey, we went I, at it, didn't it? I definitely be getting uh, guests during games. D- no, you don't. During the games? During game, like, okay, it was one, I can't, I'm not going to say his name because he's going to be an up-and-coming guest, but we were playing the game and niggas like, he was, everybody was talking shit and they like, he just came. He's like, I don't fuck with you, base. I fuck with you. I like your podcast. And then first, I about to say, I'm like, hey, hey, you listen to my podcast? He was like, yeah, my right, folks, that's it. Hey, we got to come on. We got to be like, hey, what's up? We're going to do it. And then after the game, I was like, hey, you for real? You trying to, yeah, we're going to do it. I was like, bad. And he said, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm going to every game. I'm going to fuck, start going out that bit with stickers in my pocket. Man. Just, just like, slap on the on. nigga jersey. Slap on nigga. You just see a raw room sticker on the back of nigga jersey. Hey. And D-Bates with the tackle, and he's handling him a... No, I ain't... Is that a raw room? Is that a I wouldn't even do it like that. I wouldn't even do it like that. I just be like, you know how all right, we get on kickoff, like they offense running on, our offense running on something. I just run by a nigga. Just be like, hey, go, let's go, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Put the sticker off on motherfuckers. <laughs> Promotion like a motherfucker. So you literally got 22 people with raw room stickers on their back or something. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, also, I like a dude telling you, a dude telling you, you said... Like, hey, bro, was you serious? You want to go to the party? Like, yeah, I like that. Then be like, no, nah, bro, I was talking shit. It's like, what kind of, what kind of complimentary? That was just nice what that you said. Was fucked up, like, yeah, that's a mind fuck, nigga. Like, why would you say that? That was, I, I was all game. Like, oh, I can't wait to have him all ass for this. <laughs> well, you gonna be the only nigga on the sideline right now? Podcast notes, bro. Hey, Ooh. that would be tough. I needed to start bringing a little pad and pen out there. <laughs> just be like, oh, that would be a good. That question. would be a good thing to say. Mm. <laughs> I'll say this next time, bro. That is, bro. That is funny that you can network. I didn't even think about that because your job, like for this job, is like the podcasting world. It's like ne- it's clearly a network. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. But then to take that to like the football field is fucking beautiful, bro. <laughs> Just the most gladiator of places, and still be like, hey, if you're free between three p.m. and seven p.m. on a Tuesday, mm-hmm. let me know. Just let me know. We we'll lock it. it. We'll lock it, it in. <laughs> Yo, people call my people, yeah. and we'll lock it in. We'll lock it in. But. Only day I can do it. <laughs> I'm like, hey, that's all it. I got, shit I got, I got other shit I got to do. But other than that, bro. That's why I can't wait for the off season, man. So Nigga, we can really. The worst part about this podcast in. shit, bro, is, is well, obviously, I, I'm not doing it, but I wish I could do it. The editing and that shit. Obviously, I got to produce, I got to send this night, nigga, the shit. That's the worst part about it. It's because I have to send it to him because he's not here. Mm-hmm. So I got to send this nigga, like, first, we used to use a. Uh, Damn, what that shit called? Dropbox. That shit trash, bro. Yeah, I don't like Dropbox. I Dropbox. like WeTransfer. That's what he just put me on. WeTransfer is better. Is it faster? It's faster. I mean, you're still, because you know, you're sending big files, but it, yeah. it, it, I think WeTransfer works better than Dropbox uh, for podcasting, for sure. Because yeah. you're sending like two-hour episodes, hour-plus episodes. Yeah. Man. You know what I mean? It's big, heavy shit. But that is the most annoying thing, for sure, about the I podcasting game. I hate that shit, bro, because... <sighs> It take too long, and I be wanting that shit. I be wanting to turn around fast, and you yeah. can't even turn around if you want that shit looking good. You ain't turn around and be like that. But unless you got that Rogan life, where it's yeah, like your like, shit is, you got a fucking you got, guy in the room. You have a whole editing, network. Yeah, editing as it's happening. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like that's a whole like you're level. Literally that your, we're gonna get to your shows could come out an hour after you record mm-hmm. them business type shit. But yeah, that's all the fucking part I hate about podcasts. Podcast yeah. life is that, and that ain't shit. So. Yeah. You know what I love about podcasts is that you can go to the beginning, like pick your favorite podcast, whoever mm-hmm. your favorite, 85 South, motherfucking, you know, Rogan, fucking, you know, uh, Fighter and the Kid, whatever your favorite podcast is, right? You can go to the beginning episodes and you see them niggas like in a cheap ass studio. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like, in the, but the podcast isn't any different. Yeah. Yeah. It don't even matter because it's what the content is. It's, it's just, just the, the meat and vegetables. It's just, it's the meat yeah. and vegetables. It's such a different. That's my favorite thing about podcasts, man, is yeah. the is that it's just like this long conversation that never kind of ends. Because mm-hmm. each week you just mm-hmm. get more and more and yeah, more. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Definitely. And motherfuckers get to really know a motherfucker, bro. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, oh, you just speaking of, you finna go back to L.A. and be back on King and the Sting. 
I know. I'm wondering because I'm wondering when it. I don't know when it drops. But if you are a King of the Stink fan, I'm yeah. pretty sure we yeah. just got one. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, if you, if you sure at least one of y'all, one, it's one because because if you like Maybe podcasts, two. just try two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I say at least that that you dabbled in you dabbling in both worlds. You did, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what you, I mean? You fucking around because. You know what I'm saying? You got both feet in the game. Over you maybe mess with the comedy world. You mess with... So, yeah. but I finally will be back on that podcast, which is crazy, man, because I, I haven't been on it in a year. Mm-hmm. And you're, this is the only podcast I'm doing right before. So it, I already know it's going to it's gonna be crazy getting back on it. Yeah. I still get like five to 10 messages a day, bro. A day. Why aren't you on King of the Stand? <laughs> like, my nigga, that shit was so long ago. Bro, we're talking about over a year. Coronavirus happened. Yeah. A whole coronavirus. A whole, yo, pandemic. a whole coronavirus. A whole pandemic. You still worry about why I ain't on okay, King of the State. That's crazy. That's how much they, that your impact was then. Man, I, I hope so, man. It was, it, it was, because niggas did fuck with me from that pod, you know, and they went over to became, become, be part of the Bean Mafia, the Bean crew. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I do, rep, I do respect it. I do respect, you know, the level, like, man, those big podcasts, man, people like, People love that shit, dude. They, they, they really do. Because I was even talking to my mom, bro, and even when she's at work, she listens to podcasts. Damn. Like, like when my mom is working at a nursing home, she's listening to fucking podcasts. <laughs> and it's like, oh, this is what everybody's listening to. Bro. Yeah, that's fine, though. That shit's crazy, that's bro. Like, fine. all you listen, to, like, all the listeners are like, bro, they just motherfuckers with a job. It's like, bro, that's how I get through my work day. That's like, according like, he was saying, like, when he watched, he did the podcast off of YouTube. Yeah. He watched all, everything on YouTube. And it's crazy how people like have like different ways of like, yeah. oh, I like to listen. I like to watch on YouTube. I like to put this shit on Spotify. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Everybody got their different way. That's, I kind of like that shit. Though. That's, but that's kind of why I like. I like the YouTube shit. I don't know. It's just different. People on YouTube look different. The comments are different. That's for damn. The shit. comments are definitely different. They're not like crazy shit too. Much. I don't think. Well, I haven't got anything just crazy. No, I get. I get some crazy stuff. I don't mind going back when I get the crazy shit. But the Instagram is where I get the most like. This motherfucker saying wild, wild racist shit, bro. I ain't got my my Facebook game pop. You said Instagram or Facebook? Instagram. Yep. Yeah, oh, okay. Nah, I say I don't get no shit like that. I be getting the most <laughs> just even because I also just be wondering, like, man, you have a hey, if you sending me like, bro, I fucking hate you. You fucking suck. Your comedy sucks. I saw you in this city and you sucked. I'm like, whoa, bro. You, you. How much do you love me? Yeah. That's what you're doing. You are hating. That's your disguise for loving me. And you like you went out your way, you bro. You always describe where I was at, what I was doing, how I did it. In your in your words, you say it was trash, but you describe my whole outfit, uh, where I was at. You there? And you stayed the whole time. You you paid for the ticket that I I got the money for, <laughs> I man. Got the money for that. You know what I mean? Like I got paid for that. Show. I get the dividends from your ass, and you still talking to me. So I mean, you still thinking about me. Yep. Uh, I learned that shit, man, from just being around shop mainly because I was like, man, if you think it's one of the biggest followings, right? Mm-hmm. Huge following. Get if you if you look like just it's either people like will love my nigga or they'll fucking hate, like just send them so much hate. And I realized like, oh, bro, these are still all all these motherfuckers still are buying a shirt. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. all these motherfuckers are still are buying like going to the show, buying his merch. You listening to every single podcast, mm-hmm. and it's like, oh, he got. We, it don't. Oh, it, it, I did realize, like, oh, bro, they all buy shirts too. Like, yep. Let them niggas. Say, that's how they get out their love, which is fucking weird. Let them do it. That's that's super weird, but weirdo ass niggas. But that's the most weirdo fucking shit of all time, bro. That's it. That's just like it's just like when with fans that like. I don't. I don't mind. I'll be like, "Oh, boo! Hey, fifty six, you suck." I'll be like, "All right, cool." I mean, that don't bother me. But when it be people like, "Hey, I fucking hate you, damn bitch!" I saw the picture you posted. But like, where is this going? Like, why? What? Yeah, like, where is this going, bro? You just said you hate me, but then I saw you tweeted out, and you said, "Okay, all right." What's really a problem? Well, you know, I, Cause also then you'll go to them like a profile, bro, and it'll be like a picture with him and like his daughter at a park. <laughs> you know, all, all cute. And you're yeah. like, bro, what is that? Go yeah, talk to your every time I be saying I'll be saying personal shit when I see a motherfucker talk shit to me and then I go in there, cause I go look. And yeah, you got like kids and shit, I'm like, hey bro, why aren't you talking to your kids right now? <laughs> you think about what you just sent me and think about your five year old and think about yeah. how she would feel about this. And they're like, oh bro, fuck you, I'm a good dad. It's like, well, look, Ooh, I, clearly. Something. Something's going on, Something's man. Something's going on up there. That brand of yours, and it, it obviously is not going to be good for the kid in the long run. 
<laughs> bro, have you ever seen anything online, like ever, bro, or anything ever, and been like, bro, I gotta, I gotta talk shit to this motherfucker? Mm-mm. That like blows my mind. I never bro. get that way. If it's something I don't like, I probably, I would, I will unfollow. I, unf- I, I, I would not definitely just unfollow. unfollow. And then if it's just something I just, I just put the phone down there and yeah. get the fuck off of Instagram Bro. or Twitter or whatever the fuck social media. I think Candace Owens sucks fucking butthole donkey dick. Oh, that, that bitch the, sucks. The, the bitch. largest possible. Just ones. the worst kind of human being that can exist. Absolutely. I've never once thought to like tweet her. No. Or like, or like, send her a message, and be like, no. "You fucking bitch, yeah. you racist bitch, <laughs> like, I, you said that shit." Yeah, like, what does that? Get? Like, that's like, well, what does that put? Get. Yeah, what does that? What does that do for me? I mean, if any of y'all are those people, hit us up. Let us let know. us know. Please hit the raw right room. Let us know why you do those things. Why? I mean, you. Can, I'm sure you're anonymous. You'll probably have a little egg or whatever, the little fake. The little, or your name is anonymous seven seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three. You got A B C D E F G three yeah. seven eight nine X or. You know, Tango, you have some shit like that. <laughs> and you're going to talk all your shit you want. Like, somebody, when I went on my Eugene Chizik rant, somebody uh, tweeted, back, tweeted me back, I'm talking. Oh, like four paragraphs, different tweets. It's like, Gene Chizik did this for you when he brought you in because you were supposed to be in the Arkansas State. But then, oh. like, and then, then so then, <laughs> but I was like, hey, is that you, Gene? <laughs> Got the burn account, nigga. You on your KD shit? <laughs> Fuck you. Cause that was too. You were saying you were saying some specific shit like he let you not get in trouble that day. You skipped them three classes and, and like he was, oh bro, like saying personal shit like hold on, bro. You either was in the class with me or you knew my schedule. So that's only a few people. So who the fuck running this account right here? Yo, that's crazy I'm though. Telling you, bro. Because it's also like, man, it's crazy because these motherfuckers, bro, they want what they want. That's what I've noticed that when people send me shit like It's like, oh, you want, because you think I'm living my life. Like, you want this. You, because you want it. Your, your first thing is like, you go, oh, man, if I was you, I would have did this, this. And yeah. I would be thankful. And I would, I would do this. And I would do that. Like, oh, bro, you, you, you know, nigga with Theo and Brennan, they gave you that opportunity. And you walked away. I wouldn't have did that. You're fucking stupid. And it's like, bro, you just want, just say it. Just say you want to be me. Yeah, I wish I could have been. Did what you did. Dad. I wish I could have. I, I wish, wish I could have. And it's like, you, you can't. That's why, because it's also, it's like, it's crazy to be mad at a motherfucker that's not living your life, that they're making decisions and have nothing. And you can be using that energy to try to figure out what you put you in that spot. It's like, man, what could put, because maybe, maybe you wouldn't do it like me, but how do I get in that spot? Because he got in that spot. How the and fuck that, do I get there? Nobody did. And that's why I kind of, I learned uh, when I got to college about, I thought I just had a unique way that I got to college. Oh, you had to go to school, damn. Oh, damn, you moved, huh? Blah, blah, blah. And I got to Auburn, I was like, oh, these niggas all got stories. <laughs> these niggas is really going through juke codes and a couple of and niggas' is parents passing away. It's like, oh, these niggas got real yeah, shit niggas, going niggas on. Niggas from the fuck so let me projects, shut the fuck projects. up. Yeah, I feel man? that. So that's what I was like, you know, this and that. I don't know, man. It's weird old ass niggas out here, bro. Bro, I love the way you take them on, though. Somebody's got to do it, man. Because I, I so, brain also, bro. I don't care how fucking famous I get. I don't give a fuck if I'm fucking Beyonce. I'm going. You send me something and I see it. Oh yeah. I'm giving you the energy. Hey, I'd be wanting to. Know, I don't. I don't think I've seen it. So other players let me know if niggas in the lead that got into some internet beef. I mean, I guess they have. I see. I see a player go back so. every once in a blue moon, and it'll always be like really quick. It'll always be like yeah. A, yeah it don't never be no yeah. It ain't, guy, yeah, like it ain't never no like like singers, singers, singers like like, yeah. like I'm finna, oh, I'm about to oh I'm gonna hit the moon walk on you nigga. Next time I see you, oh well, I'm gonna hit you with that high note, fuck nigga. Oh girl, you think you gonna mess with me? I'm gonna get yeah. these keys on you, Dude, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know what the football. What's you gonna say? Oh bro, I pull up on you, nigga. My bands, nigga. Yeah, and then it's like, well, all right, nigga, I got a band, nigga, I got a rave, nigga, what? It's like, bro, you're talking to, like you said, an like, egg anonymous 37. You know, what is this? Like, <laughs> that's what I'm saying, like, there's two football niggas getting to it over the internet, bro. I, I would have to intervene just start laughing, like, put a whole bunch of laughing faces yeah. on these niggas or something. Y'all lame-ass niggas. Now, I do love when y'all go at any kind of, like, uh, commentators or oh, yeah, analysts. Yeah, yeah, that I'm all fucking yeah, for. Yeah, because a lot of them are fuck faces. Yeah. So... But yeah, I love when people take shots at the journalists, anybody on from Stephen A on down. Like I could give a fuck. Yo, bro, get because you deserve this work sometimes, man. They just be talking. Also, they talk yeah. reckless sometimes, man. They do, like then, real reckless. Then, but see, that's what I'm saying. They talk reckless, and then they give people the 
the energy and that they build the courage up that they feel like they can say those same things. And that's the thing. It, okay, first of all, the people that's talking, they don't even watch the real game. Or they probably do watch games, but they watch games. They ain't never play. They watch games. Yep. So then they They're also watching their it. team. They're not watching games. They're I'm watching saying, I'm their talking about team. The oh, the I'm journal, talking about the journal. I'm talking about Stephen A. So, but then, I'm saying, from this guy, this how I, that's, how I, that's how I feel like it start. It start with like, you know, they, they either listen to this person that's telling them this, so then they listen to it. Then they go tell their friends, oh, well, I know this, 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 this. And now they believing that they know this shit. And they haven't watched anything. They just heard it. Probably saw a few highlights. Now they believe it. Now they see you might go on the field and do something that they thought you were supposed to do. Oh, you were supposed to be in the middle of the fucking field. He fucking sucks. Like, my nigga, it was cover zero. We ain't got nothing in the middle of the field. Fuck you talking about? Preach. I, you know I hate when they get and they'll and they'll go it off with like he just doesn't want to play today. It's like no, bro, it was cover zero. <laughs> no, and I was bro, doing my job. What the fuck I are you talking hate about? When they be like, oh, so and so blew fuck, blew the cover. He blew the play. Like you think then they just woke up like, hey, on play number eighteen. <laughs> when it's third and twelve, I'm dropping this ball. <laughs> yeah, bro, I'm gonna fuck I'm gonna it. drop this bitch. Okay, or you think they just waking up, going out the locker room, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm going to try to drop three balls a day. I'm going to try to fumble at least once. I'm going to try to throw an inception. You know, give up a couple tackles. No, nigga. Shit happens. Same way you drop the grease at work. Bro. Shit happens. That is a great point. You fucking spill some coffee on your shirt. That, shit. Just, that shit happened to you. That's like, oh. Like, oh, fuck. You're right, but to the motherfucker who's like, oh, bro, it was third and five. And I have to say, yeah. to you know, I had no, I had it sound like I'm going low. I'm like, oh, you got to pick the grease up on the floor, keep working at McDonald's. Because it'd be some niggas like you that be saying shit like that. Like, because you just be so upset because you in there, like, you don't uh, love your job, obviously. Yep. I mean, you could you could love your job working at McDonald's, all how you look at it. But, but those people that wouldn't, those are the people that would be cool. Else, that's something else I wanted to Did I ask you this last night? I don't think so. Uh, what other jobs did you work? Like, oh yeah, you did. We t- talk- oh yeah, we talked about we talked about incredible no, pizza. Was, oh yeah, that's the way you did work at it. Dude, that was it. We oh, and then, then that one. we didn't because I also broke. We started talking yeah. about so much other shit. The worst job was definitely UPS packing oh, you fucking boxes. With EA, you and no, EA this, no, this I was working at Memphis and like oh. UPS, he was working at the UPS store. No, nigga, I was working at Memphis like the, in the trucks. Ooh, you loading the trucks up, slave bro. I'll say it, slave labor. This is in, this is out of college. This is I just dropped out. I'm I, I'm a, I'm gonna do stand up, but I gotta like get some, gotta I gotta get some, get some bread, money. Yeah. Gotta get some bread. So I'm working in the loading docks in UPS, bro. And oh my god, dog, they didn't fire me because they liked me. But <laughs> man, they had every right to. The nigga was doing no, you were doing shit up. So, bro, you're supposed this. Is, <laughs> you you gotta load the right. You, you know, all the trucks going to different cities, so you gotta mm. make sure that the, your box is going to the right city. That's all you gotta do. Just <laughs> check the thing and make sure. Is this the it's Seattle it's truck? It's gotta Seattle. say Seattle. <laughs> it's not man, It's not rocket science, nigga, you know. <laughs> but they keep coming, and you and I'm high, you know me, and it's and it's like ten hour shifts, and you loading the bitches, you sweating, and I'm like, man. And so they told us you were allowed four, four mishaps, like four accidental wrong things a week. <laughs> Yo, there a week me. before you get fired. Nigga, I can give you four in an hour. Fuck you, man. There, so yo, <laughs> four in a week, D man. You get four mess ups in a week, and you get fired for that shit. Fired like yo, if you do, because the third one we give you a warning, like hey, you fucking nah, four times. Like, you we gotta here. let you go because you keep that. That's it. You know, if you send a package the wrong place, you costing them money. Yeah, 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 yeah. After my, it was like my second day. The boss called me into the office. She said, "Hey." I said, she said, hey, Derek, uh, you know you had some mess ups, some real mess ups going on. I said, really? How many, how many did I have? She said, you did 32 yesterday. What the fuck? <laughs> 32 in a day. What was you doing? Huh? Oh, man, I was just loading. <laughs> Because <laughs> you know, at a certain point, it, if you read Seattle, Seattle, after a hundred times, you're like, man, these all say Seattle. Like, why am I? <laughs> yeah, I was saying St. Louis. <laughs> like, yo, that bitch was saying Antarctica. They were going St. everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> My nigga just said that bitch yep. had an S on it. Come she, on. Nigga. And then she, she put me in a different spot. Which was easy. Oh, so wait, she didn't even fire you. You no. had 32 of them bitches. And she was like, she man, you're cool. Put over you all right. She said, because I, I was so broke. This is me. I said, because she said that happened. I said, and she was like, you know, you did because all I said was, I was like, damn, I did that. <laughs> My bad. I'm a fucking idiot. And then she was like, like, she was like, man, you know what? Like, I'm, you didn't even like try to lie. Be like, I, it wasn't. I'm like, man, I sure did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, bro. That's fucking hell. And they put me on the carts. But yeah, man, I remember that. Uh, that was that was definitely the worst job ever. And then 
And then that was it, man. After that, got other than working in comedy clubs, being a door guy, <laughs> parking cars and seating people and, you know, robbing niggas from their money. <laughs> their hey, tips. Hey, I'm, not, I'm not holding a gunpoint, but hey, I am. One time you sell the weed for a little bit. I sold weed for a couple of days. <laughs> I know, literally for a day, couple of days. But when me and Courtney found out, niggas start calling them dope, man. Like the niggas retired probably within two and a half days, but. Yo, this is this because I was like, because I was like, oh, okay, my boy, Black Jesus, was like, hey, bro, I'll give you some weed. Not black, black, white guy, white, huge painting of Black Jesus in his house, and I'm like, well, that's your name, Black Jesus. Who has this? Niggas, I've never seen a nigga with this. This is crazy. (laughs) Big Black Jesus painting, beautiful too, with dreadlocks. I was like, oh, you just, you know, he had it before I met him, so I was like, well, I like you already. (laughs) Why do you have this, bro? So he had, he, you know, he was selling. Mm-hmm. And he was like, hey, bro, if you just sell this to your friends, you can smoke for free. And I was like, oh, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> that sounds good. And I got it. And then I smoked all of it and had to pay for all of it. <laughs> I didn't realize that you weren't supposed to smoke yeah, it yourself. Yeah, yeah. You're supposed to sell it to other people. You're supposed to sell it to other people. Get the money. Bro, I, yeah, I was the worst it. drug dealer. Because the idea of just like, it's there. Well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 like, yeah. I got all this. That's tomorrow. I got to get this away. I'm just, I want to smoke it. But you're not realizing, like, hey, bro, you got that for free. Like, because you're also like, bro, this is all this weed for free. <laughs> it's like, yeah, hey, but it wasn't of free. Tree. Oh, we already talked about that, huh? What? <laughs> the Senate. I mean, the uh, NBA? No. Nah, well, yeah, the NBA, too. But when they I'm talking about the legalized weed here? Yeah. No, nah, not here, but um, they decriminalized it. And uh, they got sent it to the house or some shit like that. I don't know. I just know. I'm just waiting on it to say you can't get arrested for this shit no more. Yeah, because I was going to say, so decriminalized is like, well, how how decriminalized? Like, yeah, if I like, have a joint decriminalized? Like, or like, like, if I have an ounce Yeah, yeah, is it like jaywalking? Or is it like yes. hitting a pedestrian criminalization? Yeah, what, what do we, like, there's, there's levels of that shit. I want to know what you're talking like, about. You can't give us the gray area. Because also it's like, hey man, I'm not going to have just a joint on me. I'm probably going to have like an ounce of weed, maybe two ounces of weed because I smoke a lot. You know, I, I I mean, you know, you just... You I know. drink a lot of water. <laughs> I used to smoke DBs. That's true. I used to play receiving and shit. I used to run past that, catch the ball. My point is... And I used to smoke fours and fives because I used to try to dunk on that bitch ass back in the... Actually, that wasn't a good one. But I love you know, that you said fours and fives, though. Yeah, fours and fives because big dog. I, yeah, no, like, I, no, I like how you're like, I wasn't like dunking on the ones and twos and want, threes. Nah, I was dunking on the air too, but nah, I want the fours and fives. I want the big dog that's trying to block shit. Come try to block this, nigga. Let me give you the elbow before I try to dunk on this hotel. Yeah, but God, you used to fucking bam, man. I used to, try, I used to want to dunk all the time. I, now I'm kind of I'm getting older and I'm trying to re- kind of realize that like I might not have just been super cold at basketball. What do you mean? I was just I was cold. I don't think see in my mind for real for real, I was like I was Rondo in my mind. I was little Rondo out there bitch little mix with little Jason Williams. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, like they said this with a little white chocolate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, no, I see Allen. Tony Allen for sure defensively. That's that's me. That like, was you. I really want big. I ain't care about shooting threes. I ain't care about pulling up half court jump all that bullshit. I always want to dunk that hoe. Forget some fire lobs and pass it to my niggas. Some did nice dishes. Nice you dishes. would always yeah, make some nice yeah. dishes. Um, I, yeah. That's about it. I ain't give a fuck about all that other shit. That is a great person to compare. I'd say you definitely were. You, if I were to place you in basketball, you were a mix between Ray John Rondo, Dwayne Wade, and Tony Allen. Oh yeah, I definitely wanted to be D Wade. I definitely I started trying to go to the rack. I say you went to the rack like Flash. Uh, yeah, you could dish like Rondo. I would time. give you. You could dish. You would dish when you wanted to dish the bitch. And then the defense was Tony Allen very much. If I had yeah. to put you together, if, I, if you were those, if those men all had sex and had a baby, nigga, I'll you'd keep be it. I keep, <laughs> keep it in the club with Ta too, and uh, and Memphis, him and Zebo. That nigga keeps together like brothers. Nigga be together all the time. It was in V Live. That's make, that makes me so happy that they still like they're still friends. Damn nigga, kick it. Yeah, that nigga keep heavy. Dude, bro, don't I think it was the best years, bro? Those early Grizzly years, man. Great remember, grand, I saw you that, remember the Stro show? Stro Miles Swift? What would he do to me? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Stro Miles Swift, I know you're an avid roommate and listen, to please tell us what the fuck this meant. Well, what? Why? I just want to know. I want to know why. It, like, I mean, maybe you were flying high. That's what it is. Bro, maybe what? You like, flying high, bitch. If you go look at some old Stro Miles Swift highlights, though, bro, I'm and, telling you, if you like, if you like so, basketball and you like seeing motherfuckers getting bammed on for real, Stro Miles, Stro show was 
bamming on motherfuckers, man. Yeah, bam. Number four for a grid skinny ass nigga, too. Yep. But that nigga was jumping out the gym. Bro, I fucked with that squad, man. Him, James yeah, Posey, yeah, Bonzi James, Wells. Posey, Bonzi. I followed Bonzi Wells on Instagram. Nigga, I feel like a kid when I saw his page. Yeah, he's that weird. Bro, some people bring like, Yeah, bro. I feel like a back. fucking kid. I was like, whoa. The rest in peace, Lorenzen, right? Red. Golly. So, yeah, so, I mean, just fucking legends in my... Because it's so funny. Because to me, I'm like... Yeah, these are Shane Battier, nigga? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> nigga. That nigga's a legend. Fuck you, me. We left to get his ring. I hate that everybody leaves hey, Memphis to get a ring. I'm happy for Mark, though. Yeah, I mean, because he's about to get Mark a second ring. Nah, I'm about to say, nigga, finna get another ring. Shit. I want my boy Mike Conley to get a ring. I love that he's on the Jazz. I mean, the motherfuckers was one shot away from getting from the Western yeah. Conference Finals last year. I kind of want Conley to get a ring, but then I kind of don't because I want him to just come back to the Grizzlies. I do want him to retire. But then we I kind of don't Grizz. because we got Ja. We got Ja. I'd Big love 12, if he retires like, or Grizz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Retire Grizz, maybe, you know what I'm saying? Sign a 10-day. Sign a 10-day. <laughs> like, I'm your age and nigga. <laughs> hey, just sign a 10-day. Go, day. go out on day. top. Just go out right now. <laughs> Fuck it. Y'all know you can play for four, five more years. Nigga, who cares? No, you left us. Retire. Yeah, bro. But yeah, that shit. We had some those ballers, days, man. Those man. are some good Memphis Grizzlies teams, bro. I mean, in the know, pyramid, in, too. In the pyramid with the green and gold and the, this hat. Yeah, you sir. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This jump. Classic Grizz, bro. Like, them was the days. We were getting ass we were by the Lakers all the time, bro. Yo, man. Saw Kobe Bryant. I saw Kobe Bryant put up. 60 something. 60, on. Yeah, 40. Like, yeah, I saw him multiple times, us. man. Golly. And so glad I saw him, true. though. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, I, I appreciate sure everybody that was able to see him. You get it. Because I rooted against him. I never rooted for him. I, I hated Kobe. Yeah. My whole eye was an avid. Yeah. I hate the Lakers. Yeah, I don't. I'm not a big Laker guy. But obviously, I am now just because of two, three. Bro, you go out, yeah. Wherever Bron goes. Yeah, whoever Bron goes. Wherever Bron goes, I'm, I'm following. I'm following, I'm following now. You know what I'm saying? D Wade out there thing. So it's all about Bron. It's the Bron Bron game. Shit. Hey, what I've been asking you? Um, you been watching the University of Memphis? Uh, oh, Peter Hardaway. Hardaway. We talked about that, huh? No. No. I, I said that sometimes. I love what he's brother. doing, I think I'm talking to my brother. Yeah. I but, love what he's I doing. I mean, I love, it's just crazy. They over here losing the VCU, They're West good. Kentucky. Because what uh, I'm noticing is like, okay, and this is what I want to, and I mean, you know, I ain't coming at him, but I, you can recruit. This is always been like some people who can recruit their asses off mm-hmm. are not great in-game coaches. coaches. So I would like to see if, is he going to be a great in-game coach? Or, or are you just a great... Some people can recruit, bro. Maybe he just have to be just a, a recruiter and maybe Mike Miller should have been the coach. You see what I'm saying? Okay, you see what I'm saying? Some people mm-hmm. know how to... It's, it's yeah. it, Making in-game decisions ain't got nothing to do with like yeah, swooning yeah. in a motherfucker. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, for sure. You know? That's definitely... But that's that, that's my take on Penny. But I love him. I'm always going to root for, you know, U of M and him, anything he does because Memphis all day. Mm-hmm. You know, but that is, that is what I'm... As I'm watching this unfold, I'm like, huh. You know, you're just like, okay... Because last year you didn't have Wiseman. I, I get that. And nah, then the year like, got cut yeah. short. All right. But now it's like, exactly. It's like, okay, yeah. wait, what's going what's on, man? You had a top on? class. And then uh, Kentucky, but say that's the other team I follow, and they losing too. Yeah, they just lost a fucking yep. Josh Pasner in Georgia Tech. Yep. Pasner. And he was about to get his ass fired out of there too. Yeah, he needed that win. Then he, oh, that was, a big, that was a big dub he pulled off out of there. Hey, do you consider dinosaurs as a, a conspiracy like mermaids and the Bigfoot? We yeah. have to. Let me tell you something. We have to. That's the greatest question you've ever fucking asked me. I was thinking about that shit. Remember when I tell you why I be taking notes at? Yeah. Okay. It was during one of those times I was supposed to be paying attention to some other shit. But I had that thought, like, hey, bruh, a dinosaurs, a conspiracy? Because they actually try to make you not think they're conspiracy. They try to tell you, no, they was here 70 million years ago. When nobody was around, but they was here. They was here. You want to know how I know? Because it's a rock that's 30,000 feet on the ground. That hoe kind of looked like a leaf. That kind of probably was back in the day. Okay. That hoe kind of looked like a leaf, but also looks like, like the some outline. bones of some bones of a, of a dinosaur that could fly. Well, you know what? I'm going to approach this from the angle of, let's say it is, right? Let's say it is a conspiracy. Let's say it is. Okay. Let's say dinosaurs were a conspiracy. My question would be, Why? Why did you come up with that? Why, who is this for? What the fuck? What was the point of it? What was the point of it? You know what else I used to You're think? You're not getting nothing yeah. out of this. Because I used to, as my whole life, they, they would all say fossil fuels. And so I was like, oh, those are <laughs> dinosaur. dinosaur bones that they turn into. And then they would say, oh, but we're losing, we don't have a, we're losing fossil fuels. That's what they would say. Thank you. They would say that. Just like, they'd say we're losing fossil fuels. And, thank you. I know I'm not alone, bro. And I'm like, okay. 
<laughs> I was like, oh, that hilarious. makes sense because there would only be a limited amount of dinosaur bones left. <laughs> There's no more dinosaur bones, and we're using it all for gas. Yeah, we're going to have to figure this di- this fossil fuel problem out. That's what I thought it meant. Apparently, it's not exactly what it means. But that's it. So, so oh, my, my question would be, do I think it's a conspiracy? I do think there were dinosaurs. I don't think... That's a good question, bro. It's kind of, it's kind of like the moon landing. It's like... <laughs> Yeah. I think I think something's been on the moon. What? I don't know if it's but been a person. What? A lot more people say the moon land was fake than dinosaurs. I know. <laughs> a lot. You can go, we can go on the street right now and ask 10 people, hey, if dinosaurs real, they're going to probably tell you, yeah, they probably was real. You're going to ask about the moon land, they're going to give you a whole bunch of bullshit about why they think it wasn't. I know. Or was. Or was. No, man, the moon landing that fucks me is knowing Hassan, because I've, we, I've, we got to literally ask his dad, who works for NASA, yeah, and he was yeah, like, yeah. no, it 100% happened. And he was so serious and like not joking that I'm like, but maybe well, he this was, guy. Was, but maybe he was like, like, so, like, still facing so 100%. Like, I might not be, it was real. Maybe he, had, he just, it's been years, and he's like, I'm fucking tired of people saying this shit was fake. I'm sick of this. Like, they yeah, it was much. fake, but. Don't fucking keep asking me. That'd be the crazy because there's so many motherfuckers that work for NASA. Is that like the government though? Yeah, and they all, he's like, he's getting paid by the government. But they're all science. It's the way he said it. Like, yeah, we make, like, you know what I mean? When a motherfucker just like, like it'd be like a motherfucker asking yeah. you, like, are you playing for the NFL? You'd be like, yeah, like you, you're, you would say yes so matter of factly. Oh, okay, that it would be like, yeah. man, is it, I don't think this thing is lying. But then, if that's the case, then. Okay, the moon, okay, we can get the moon landing. All right, but, but people try to pull up footage of Bigfoot or. The swimming Loch Ness. Monster, Loch Ness monster. I don't believe in Bigfoot. I do believe there's stuff in the ocean that we have no the fuck idea about. Hell it's yeah. too big and we can't see it all. Nigga, it's like it's too big. They I couldn't cover it all. The octopus that was bigger than his couch or some shit. Like, and it squeezed through a keyhole. Uh, I've, seen, I've seen one of them. Like, so it's like, yo, there's some shit in the ocean that we don't fucking. That you don't even want to know. be around. Yeah, bro. Especially the bottom. The shit Bruh, that can handle You want to talk down about down a, scary, a scary movie? You be in the ocean at nighttime. Let's just say you can breathe on the water. You can be in the ocean at nighttime. Matter of fact, Joe Rogan had somebody on this podcast. The nigga was like, uh, just like just a scientist doing something, you know what I'm saying? Doing some science shit on the water. He was in like a little, little pod at night. It would be, uh, he had to stay in that bitch like for like, I think like two or three days. Yeah. And, like he would have to get like to go piss and shit. He has to like get out, swim to like this little rock that was underground, but for kind of some kind of way it had like air in there that he can still breathe while he take shit and piss. But he was like, nigga, shit would be swimming around, like touch him and shit, and like swim away. Be like, bro, fuck, no, nah, he can't see shit. He would have a light, but it's like that light does nothing. He's like literally trying this far. Would you would you do some shit like that? <laughs> <laughs> Oh fuck, nigga! I don't even go to the woods at night. <laughs> would you go? Would you go fuck with kangaroos? If you're nah, ever in Australia, I mean, I have you have not like the niggas that beat your ass, kangaroos? Not but the, the not kangaroos that's over here in Nashville Zoo. I think yeah. that's Nashville. Yeah. You can get out, you pet them niggas and shit. Man, them niggas bitch ass kangaroos. They ain't the real niggas. You know, no, the motherfuckers in the, in the nah, real Australia. They try to fight. You. I just seen somebody. I want to say Jay John, my nigga Jason. Nigga just sent me a. I want to say them niggas probably like eight feet tall, bro. Two kangaroos. Yeah. They go jacking, jacking, jacking. One kangaroo just picked the other one up and just body slammed that nigga. I said, yeah. They should have a sport. Kangaroo fight. Kangaroo fighting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I bet you that shit illegal though, huh? You can't, it can't be illegal. That's what they do. I wonder, because it's like, right? Would it be like dog fighting? It, it has to be, be like. Them niggas do that though, like. They jack and they, they yeah. I didn't have to. Happen. I didn't have to ask him to. Like I didn't like. It ain't like two dogs or like I. I, I, had I had to made make them do that. No, I, no, 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 no. It's like they look at each other like, oh, this nigga tried to holler at my bitch. Oh, he tried to look at my bitch. Right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know what I'm he just fired the nigga. It wasn't real fast. I do oh, wonder man. how buff they, bro. The motherfuckers be buff. like. That's what we talking about last night, bro. Them mooses. There's some animals, man. That are deer. I've been since we've been in Baltimore, bro. And in, in, in Maine, I've seen like a hundred deer, bro. Just in yeah, these last deer, couple months, they probably fucking. Oh, crazy, duh. bro! Crazy, shit. fast as shit, strong as shit, big as shit, with yeah. the horns. We were like, "Oh, this! If this jump were to charge me, bro, I would be kind of like, I'm fucked." Oh yeah, if that nigga said, "I'm just gonna fuck I'm a, I'm put my fuck. antlers in this it, nigga's stomach," it's, it's a it's a rap. It ain't shit and you can wear do. this nigga like a uh, Carnegie, yeah, Car- Carnegie. 
Carnegie, 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 Hall. Carnegie Hall. Carnegie Hall. Yo, I'm gonna wear this nigga like Carnegie Hall. <laughs> hey, that sounds fine. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's I'm gonna wear this shit like, like Carnegie, Carnegie Hall. Hall it's, it's not like something fucking Jay Z would say. Yeah. Matter of fact, don't take my shit, Jay. <laughs> hey, hey, ho. hey, what if? Happy hey, birthday, ho. Hey, it was what, your birthday? Would aliens birthday. be a conspiracy too, though? No, aliens are for sure real. Guarantee. I'm guaranteeing. Some kind of way they are. What if aliens play football? They, they do, bro. You're an alien. We're all we're aliens. Because think about this. If aliens exist, that means to them we are aliens. Hence, you're an alien or, playing football. Or we are their fucking science project. They dropped them here. It's like, let's see how this little thing work out. 2020 came around. They probably dropped the bomb. They dropped coronavirus. Yeah. And it's like, let's get rid of this shit. So yeah, we got to get rid of them. We got to fucking... That, this they're, getting smart. they're getting too smart and they're way too many of them. They keep fucking... No, they, they, not, no, they don't look at us as smart. They're oh, way smarter. They just like they keep fucking each other. They just keep fucking. Like, why do they keep on multiplying? They keep like, yo. Every time I come back, there's literally a hundred. Yeah, they don't come back like often. They come back probably like every hundred, fifty, hundred yeah. years. So when they started, they were like, oh, there's like a thousand of them. Yeah, Ooh, look at this. Like, oh, yeah, let's see what they do. This. And you come back this. and it's like ten thousand. You're like, whoa, okay, okay. Big jump. Now you can, you come back 150 years later. Now you're seeing three billion people. Like, wait, 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 <laughs> wait. <laughs> I turned my back for. <laughs> I turned for around for hundred years, <laughs> and this is what I come back to. But to them, hundred years is like, bro, I just turned around. That bitch was. I was just hundred years. I was just hundred years. This is what y'all did. This is like, cause they lived to be probably like a couple thousand yeah. years old. Probably it's crazy. They probably don't even die. Bro, they don't. And they're like, what are they killing each other for? Some of the white ones don't like the black ones, and then some of the they you know, like, they're like, what? Like what? You purple with the eight arms. Yeah, what, what do you mean? I'm green with no arms. I, I, we love I, each other. Yeah, we love each other. I, I don't like you for other reasons, like your feet yeah, like smell. Your feet, like, yeah, it is like, like regular shit. Like, right. Well, that's fair. I mean, like, you had to say that yeah, last time. Like, right, okay. But like, tough actor. They, they look at them like, but these dumb ass people really hate each other because of color of their skin or because they had to vote for somebody. Yep. Well, bro, you, you, you seen, you've seen Men in Black, right? The original? Yeah. Will Smith? Yeah. The, the, you know how it ends with He's like, man, you kid, you have a lot to learn. And the camera pans back, and you see Earth, and it keeps panning back, and it's like, it becomes a marble. Mm-hmm. And then it's like a bunch of marbles in like a galaxy. Yeah. And you, and you see some big ass aliens just playing, playing marbles, bro. Yeah. And it's like, you, but I'll be thinking about that shit all the time. I'm yeah. like, man, this is so big and so vast. And so, it's so much, bro. It can't you just know, be yeah. us. Yeah, it can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just. But so then again, it's Because it, it, it also is so crazy that we exist. It's like, man, why wouldn't it just be us? Like, it's so fucking crazy. You know? And then it's like, you can't go to no other planet and do shit. No. It's like, you have to just sit on this one. And and and, th- and be like, well, I guess this is it. I, yeah, I guess. And then you got to listen to other people tell you that there is or that can or can't be. But they mm-hmm. haven't been, though. That's why, yeah, it's like Neil deGrasse Tyson. I mean, I love, yo, of course <laughs> scientists are smart and you listen to scientists and blah, blah, blah. Of course. But at the same time, I'm like, nigga, you don't know. <laughs> you just read this in the book that no. another nigga wrote about. Yeah, when it comes to like religion or like science, like like what is going on with aliens and shit like that, I'm like, hey, bro, you know just as much. It's, what up, bro? <laughs> Try to get the gumbo. <laughs> Try to get the gumbo. Man, we finna get up out here. You gotta catch this flight. Bro, My dog we gotta didn't get even, back to an, hour, an hour went by? An hour went by and. Dude, I can talk to you forever, man. I mean, you know, before we get up out of here, we got to tell these lovely people about... Dude, we got to tell them about... Hey, man, listen. God, we need y'all to go fuck with this... I'm going to tell you why. New precision... With the lights? With the lights on it. Ooh. The bitch got down. Feel like a titanium blade with the... Just, it's exquisite. It's like shaving your balls with the Titanic, man. You know what I mean? Shaving your balls with the fucking that's the best kind of steel you can get. Actually, no, not the Titanic. That ship sunk. But another powerful boat. I was just thinking because maybe the Titanic is kind of long and pointed. That's what I'm thinking too. And it's, and it's clean. That bitch look then, nice. And then I just was watching the Family Guy episode when uh Pete, not Peter, when Stewie, uh Brian and uh and Chris uh, accidentally went to like they was going hopping through time. Yeah, and they hopped on. And Chris dumb man hopped on the Titanic. And was about to drown. He was trying to prove a point. You know how Chris is. He trying to prove a fucking point. <laughs> you know how Chris gets. And, you know, he know he get he get to think he's smart. And his ass got on the Titanic, and then he fucked up Stewie's uh the you know, the time hopper. Yeah. And so that shit just made me think about the episode that fast. That Bro, I'd be so mad if I was on the Titanic. You imagine? You're just going to, you got, you, you got like, you're going to America for a couple of days for work. Cause that's what you're uh, doing. Like, some people are on there just for business. It's like, bro, all right, I'm gonna go to America I, for a couple of days for work. I wasn't even trying to come on this bitch. I, bro, I wasn't trying to come on this. I don't I even like, I don't like this job. Yeah. 
Talk about a rough day at the job. Yeah, also just or being black and having to be on that bitch slaving. Yeah, and you're like, what the I, fuck? I couldn't even be. I wasn't even allowed to ask to be on this plane, but I had to be on this plane just to help to this help motherfucker. These motherfuckers. And I gotta die with them. I gotta die with these sorry ass motherfuckers. Though. <laughs> That's why I don't like when anyone brings up anything from old time. Like when somebody's like, "I remember when America was like this." It's like, shut up, man. Slavery yeah. happens. Like, yeah. Shut the fuck up. Like, dude. Nothing you saying right now is fucking anything. People want to hit you with the Declaration of Independence and shit. That's what you want. To do. <laughs> oh, man, it, that piece of paper was written a thousand years ago. We bro. have cell phones now, bro. Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> That's the fuck out of that. my face. We need to rewrite that bitch. They are, I, I hate when also people act like we can't just rewrite it. It's like, why? Dude? Like, it's, like that's set in stone for like. Why? Is, is that the 12, 10 commandments? It's not. Why, it's bro? Not. I'm not saying let's change thou shalt not kill. I'm saying, hey, let's just fucking mess with the nonce. The people who had slavery, the people who <laughs> literally invented slavery. Why don't we just like take what they said and like try to just redo yeah, it? Redo it. Bit. Just to put it in like a newer version. Yeah. I'm not saying everything they said was wrong. I think we should have guns. We should have the right to have guns. Yes, yeah. But you know, also, let's shot. not have the cops kill everybody. There should, let's just balance it out. Shouldn't I be, what, they, what the cops get, immunity? That's yeah, what I'm saying. They should not. Judges shouldn't be allowed to just be judges the whole time. Let's kind of, let's, let's make no. them earn it. Let's make them earn it, huh? Damn. Judges can't be corrupt. Like, what is this shit? Like, that's, a, like, they're people. They're still people. Just yeah. like, people cheat. Like, the Houston Astros cheated. They cheated, bro. I mean, it is what it is. It's like they cheated, bro. They cheated, but that's, guess what? That's in a sport that that didn't hurt nobody. But when you got people that you putting away for hundreds of years, or I mean, even if they did or didn't do anything, yeah, for weed, for weed, for weed, for Come something on, that dog. that grows that you don't have to cook up, and it's legal now. And motherfuckers anymore. are still in prison for it. It's like, what is this game? And they're all black. You know what I'm saying? It's like, what are we talking about here, bro? Black or Mexican? It's a fucking yeah. slave farm. Don't get me started. You got me hyped up now, d on the conspiracy you. shit and all the things that are really bad about what's going on. Bro, it's, it's savagery out here because the shit going on, man. It is just, it is crazy because it, it happens. Like, it happens so much now that people just be like, well, damn. Shit, so and so, this shit happened there. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, people just kind of, you, cause it's, it's like, and I get that too. I get, I do get the idea of like, man, because it's like you have, you have so much shit going on in your personal life. It's like, mm-hmm. bro, I can't stop and worry about why the government is fucking over, yeah. like black people, like, like why and how and like the systematicness of it yeah. all. And it's like, dude, I'm just trying to get my kids to school today. Yeah, like I Without get it. Fucking dying. I'm yeah, trying not to get pulled the fuck over. It's today. just, it's a lot going on for people, dog. Yeah. But all that being said, use. My- but that's what I'm trying to tell you. All that they told us to say all that. By the way, that was in that was their weird. ad. I thought it was weird. Darren Pitcher told me. I said, I don't think we'd say all that. He said, Bro, they asked for this. They asked for that. So they told us to say a whole thing about black and white, <laughs> black and white, and systematic racism, and judges, and, and the Titanic, and all that shit. They asked for that. We just said it. Like I said, you. Yeah. Also, thank you. And so with the podcast. Oh, yeah. Appreciate y'all for listening. Go listen to Spoil the Beans. Catch Spoil me on King of the Sting. King King if you want to see me, I just came with another episode on there. Fuck and this boy. nigga will be back again. Hey, I'm Nothing coming back. New. Literally. You already know what it is. But hey, we appreciate y'all for listening. Hey, follow us. Follow us at The Raw Room, Twitter, Instagram. Follow me at Wesson underscore Sun 56 on Instagram. On Twitter, DB underscore 5 Trey. Follow your boy, JC. Uh, JCar underscore 11, Twitter. Uh, Instagram, JCar underscore 32. Uh, and the, the raw room is at raw underscore underscore room. Roomies, we appreciate y'all for listening. Yeah. We'll tune in for you next week. Easy.